Om Shri Sai Ram. As we commence the last evening's program of this Guru Purnima festival, I offer our collective pranams at Bhagwan's lotus feet. And I pray to him that he gives us the courage, strength, and will to make this Guru Purnima a special one by opening a new page in each of our lives by helping us follow his dictum of love all and serve all. This evening's artist is not just a performer, but is also a patron, an ambassador, and an ardent devotee of Bhagwan. No prizes for guessing. I'm talking about Srimati Aruna Sairam, who's a renowned Indian classical vocalist. She's a recipient of the Padma Shri, one of the most prestigious awards conferred by the Indian government to artists, and she also occupies some coveted positions in the Indian music academies. Much like many artists you've heard during the week from India and overseas, our performer today has been trained under the tutelage of a family of royal court musicians. We're really lucky, brothers and sisters, to be hearing Mrs. Sairam today, as she has as she's been one of the trailblazers of her generations who took a lot of pride and initiative in sensitizing the international audiences to South Indian classical music. And of course, needless to say, most international arenas were packed every time she visited these countries to perform and sing for these audiences. Her, Bhagwan, her association with Bhagwan dates back to many decades now for over 40 years of her performance where she credits her repertoire, success, and inspiration to Guru Sri Satya Sai Baba, to whom she directs every question, dedicates every note, and offers her very being. She will be accompanied this evening on the violin by Ms. Apurva Krishna, a young and upcoming artist who shows a lot of promise, on the Bridangam by Kalemamani J. Vaidinathan, a very senior and renowned Mridangam artist. He was also recently awarded the Sangeet Natak Academy Award for over four decades of his performance. On the ghatam, we have Sri S. V. Ramani, who's a brand in himself, and he has previously accompanied several senior vocalists. And on the Tanpura, we have Sri Srinivas Vishwanatham. May I now request all the artists to please come forward and take their seats on the desk. Shri Gurave Namaha Shri Tam 
तस्म श्री गुरव नम तस्म श्री गुरव नम तस्म जाओ 
Pranams at the feet of Sadguru on the occasion of Guru Purnima. As they say, it's not the student that finds the Guru, but the Guru finds the student. So we are all blessed to have been found by him to be here today. The first composition was composed by Shri Goraknath, who lived in Uttar Pradesh, more or less at, at the time of Sant Kabir. In this song, he says, I, I am nothing, I don't know anything. I don't know Ganga, I don't know Jamuna, I don't know Tirathasthan, I don't know what is good, I don't know what is bad. All I know is you, my Guru, please, you have to take me along and make me do the things that I have to do in this human life. That was the synopsis of the song. Continue our offering of music. It's a composition from Muttu Swami Dikshatar. Muttu Swami Dikshatar was born in South India, but he traveled by foot right up to Kashi and then came back to South India. And he brought many beautiful ragas and melodies and concepts from the North and established them in the South. <clears throat> In this song, he offers obeisance to Subramanya.
ಭಗವತೇನ ಪುರನ್
as we go along this journey of music, we thought we could see a glimpse of different saints, composers who have left as a rich legacy of compositions. Although music is the vehicle of these compositions, the intent, the subtle meaning, the subtle purpose is spirituality, devotion, a sense of surrender, a sense of offering everything that you have and you don't have at the feet of the Guru and at the feet of God. That is why these saints are immortal today because of the intention with which they created these compositions. We would be now looking at a composition by Swami Bhadrachala Ramadasa. Bhadrachala Ramadasa preceded Swami Tyagaraja in history. And the story goes that Tyagaraja's mother always sang him for lullabies the compositions of Swami Vadrachala Ramadasa. O Ramani Namam Yemi Ruchira Sri Ramani Namam Yemi Ruchira Yanta Ruchira That is the composition. Purvi Kalyani Raga Hmm O Ramani Namam ये बिरुचि वो राम नीनामं ये बिरुचि राश्रे रामा
From Andhra Pradesh, if we move to Maharashtra, it's the same story. Sant Namadev. He belonged to the Varakari Sampradaya. Varakari's Sampradaya meant to take an annual pilgrimage by foot from your village of residence, you walk to the village of Alandi. And from there, Alandi to you, you walk to the temple of Pandharpur, where the Lord Vithala resides. And as they go along, they walk, they dance, they sing, they cook, they eat, they sleep and continue the next day. So it's complete absorption, thinking and singing and forgetting the cares of mundane concerns so that if you do this once in a year, you are ready to face the rest of your life for the remaining so many months with that spiritual strength. This composition by Santa Namadev Bhatta Jana Vatsale Yeigo Vithale. He calls out to Vithala. He says, You are not my father, you are my mother. Why? Because only with mother we can take liberties. We can chide her, we can scold her, we can cry, we can say, I, I don't like what you do, everything. Swami is like that. We can fight with him. And he will still say, please don't get angry with me. I am with you. That same feeling Santa Namadev has with Vithala. So he doesn't call him Vithala. He calls him Vithale. Strilinga. He addresses Vithala as his mother. And he says, Yeigo. Yeigo means, come. If I call you, you have to come. How can you not come? That kind of 
liberty what we call saulabhyam that he expresses aanaram Hey, 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 hey,
But 
Sai Guru Ve Namaha 